Hey guys, this is Vicky from Vicky's Anime, and I'm gonna kind of go over what I've been reading this past week. I was like, so I read tons of manga, and so maybe I should start doing a weekly thing. So lately, I've been into psychological um, romance yaoi's, <laughs> which is insane. And a lot of these have been webtoons, actually. And so, I'll just go over what I've been reading. And so, the first one I'm going to go over is Unfather. Um, so I actually usually use Manga Rock um, on my phone or tablet. I actually don't, I, so when I was like in junior high, um, or high school too, because I didn't really have a smartphone or anything, like I would, I would read everything online, you know, everything. I think I used, uh, oh crap, what's up? I'm pretty sure everyone used it. Manga Fox or whatever. Like, what everyone still probably uses now. I don't know. But, yeah. So, that's what I used. And now I use this because it has a lot of different sources. And I'm not sponsored or anything. This is literally just... I'm telling you, this is what I use and do. And I read all the time. Um, so the first one is, yeah, I'm Father. And this one, yeah, if you read adult yali drama, it really is very adultish, very adultish. And, uh, it's this guy, so this kid is a mama's boy, and he does, he does, you know, things for money, but this older guy falls in, pretty much falls in love with him, and, uh, falls in love with him, and then starts dating his mom to get to him, and, it's a lot of like blackmailing and not really love there. And, um, overall, I would say I would give it a six out of ten because there's some slow parts, but it is an interesting story and interesting concept um, all the way up to the end. And so, and yeah, it's like a webtoon. You can see there's about thirty, yeah, thirty-nine chapters came out last year and yeah I really I really liked it. This next one is called Heaven and Hell Roman Company. Um, it's another yaoi romance supernatural. Um, uh, it's about it's pretty much about angel and demons that have to work together and they call it the H&H &H Roman um, Company. So there I think there's like literally two seasons. So the first season revolves around these guys right here. And then the second season kind of revolves around these guys and some other guys. And I wish they, like, so these are pretty much like the main characters that you see in this big picture. Um, and then I wish they would go into detail because there's other characters and you want to know more about, I think, their love life. But it never goes deeper than that. And so it makes me kind of sad, but it was good. It was, like, um, I like how they all like ended and worked it's a bit it is like an adult um kind of themed i think a lot of these are going to be especially since they're yaoi um but yeah i really like this i would probably give it probably another i would say six out of ten again it's not my favorite but it was really good this next one is not a yaoi um, this one's Soju School Live Comedy. I really honestly cannot say what that title is. Other names. Uh, Don't Say I Love You. Is that what it is? But you can do the too. Like, I don't, I literally don't know. Anyways, there's a boy, the mysterious mole. And she caught, like, and she's like crazy of like over this mole. Literally that's it and like <laughs> she's just obsessed with this mole. Like he's like really popular but she was like obsessed with the mole on his like you can barely see it like on his lip or something. Bottom lip or something. And they actually end up getting to know each other and it's like yeah it's just like a school life comedy. Like that's the best way to put it. Like, just all the funny things that happen in this, so, if you're into that. Also, I've read this one. This one is really good, too, if you're into the same kind of school life comedies or romance. This is really good. 
<laughs> I've read so much. Alright, so this is the next one I read. Was proposed. No, I don't. I can't read Japanese. Um, but yeah, like kind of the description says it is a high school that high school girl that became a wife to the worst man um, because she had to pay her family's debt, and so she married, you know, the son of a really rich guy, and so. Um, and so yeah, it's pretty much just a romance. Uh, it's kind of like rich guy learns to be humble a little bit and learns to like fall in love with her because I feel like she's like the hard working, you know, not, you know, doesn't just love money and everything. But, um, he starts to fall, in, like they fall in love with each other kind of story. And it's really short, it's only, yeah, like six. I mean, it says six. It's like chapter 5.5. I don't know. But yeah, it's really, really short. So I would recommend that one too. This, this is the next one I recommend. Um, I'm not even going to even try to say the names. Anyways, so this one is a shoujo, 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 I don't know, school life romance. And it's just about a girl that has um, a childhood friend. But she falls in love with somebody at school, you know, that's not a childhood friend. And then that's when you see, like, his more, like, serious, sadistic side, or I think that's how to say it. Like, he's all cutesy and whatever, but the moment you figure figures out that he likes someone, you know, she likes someone else, like, he's like, nah, nah, nah. You know, you're supposed to like me. Kind of thing, you know, and so she finally gets to see, like, the real him. So, because he tried to always monopolize, monopolize her time, and so it's kind of, yeah, I guess that's the summary. Like, literally when you see this, it's like, that's literally the summary of what, what it is. And I like this one. I would give it a, probably a 10 out of 10. I thought it was kind of funny and fun to read, and it's really short. So, this is the next one I read. Um, the, it's a romance. I would say, what else? Romance and some little psychological stuff. So, like, the description doesn't even say much. Like, keeping her secret, I went back to her hometown, she decided to not fall in love anymore, but, I mean, that is pretty much the whole story, but so she's from Tokyo, and she goes back to, her, like, her mom or dad's hometown because of a, because what happened in Tokyo. And so, her, childhood friend, this is the person here, whatever, follows her back to, and throughout the story you see her like pushing away a guy that they mutually like each other, but then you figure out what happened in Tokyo that made her go live there, like live in that small town. Which is a little bit ridiculous if you really think about it, I don't want to spoil anything, but in a way it makes sense. So, but I really liked it! I honestly, like, the way I remember it, I felt, it made me feel like it was longer, but it's only like five chapters. Maybe the chapters are kind of long. I don't remember, but there was like a lot to it, so it wasn't like a lot of fluff. So that was really good. I really liked that. I would say this one is a 10 out of 10 to just read, and so yeah, I would definitely recommend this. Alright, and that's all I have for you guys today. Maybe I'll make this a weekly thing because I go through usually quite a few. As you can tell, usually they're pretty short um, because I just read them. But sometimes I'll find one that's really long and just go for it. Just read, like, I'll read it, like, in a few days because I'm just so into it. Um, these ones just happen to be pretty short. But, uh, yeah. Hope, guys, tell me what your favorite mangas are. Um, what would you recommend? Also, hopefully you guys like this, you find some um, new mangas to read. But yeah, I'll be looking forward to hear from you guys. I love you guys so much. See you next time. Bye!